I accidentally deleted the section on naming amines, so we'll, we'll cover that again here. So in the notes, it will be below um, where I had intended to put it. So sometimes accidents happen. And needs are thankfully very easy to name. Um, we're going to see that they are going to be below alcohols in our uh, list. So that includes everything above alcohols. So nitriles, acids, esters, aldehydes, all of those are already above al uh, alcohols, right? Amines are just one step below them. And amines are actually going to be our lowest uh, kind of functional group that could be a suffix. Um, so speaking of which, the prefix names for amines, amino, if they are a suffix, they are amine. So it works wonderfully. Now I don't know how to count. Okay, there we go. Something easy like this, we would say pro pan amine. Ta da! Or let's see. For this one, we would say. Oops. Wow, I do not know how to spell. Ethan 1, 2, diamine. Uh, although we will, you'll often see this one called uh, ethylene diamine. Ethylene diamine. Uh, you'll see that because uh, that's very commonly used with transition metal chemistry, right? Ethylene diamine, tetraacetic acid, EDTA, very common chelating agent. In biology, you might see this as ethylene diamine. That's not really a, a, a common uh, or a systematic name. So just like before, we'll have these. If we have multiple things on our nitrogens, just like with naming amides, we will use the N as a, a locator number. So for example, if we have... If we have uh, something like this, we have two ways of naming it. We can do a common name, or we can do the uh, systematic name. And either one would be fine for a, a simple amine like this. The common name would be to list all of these substituents on your nitrogen in alphabetical order. So we have an isopropyl group, a propyl group, and a methyl group. So we would say, isopropyl, methyl, isopropyl, no, propylamine, sorry. Or something like triethylamine, right? Three ethyl groups on the amine. Uh, so you just name them all in alphabetical order, no problem. So just like with, with ethers, right? We had like, you could say methyl ethyl ether or something like that, or methyl ethyl ketone. Uh, with common names, you can kind of just throw the substituents out there. So alphabetical order of substituents. For a systematic name, you will need to find your longest chain, which will be the propyl chain. So once we find our longest chain, we're going to have to name the others as substituents on the nitrogen. So with our um, propyl group being the longest chain, we will say for this molecule, we have two substituents. We have an isopropyl group. We have a methyl group, propylamine or propanamine. And so uh, notice that we have used our ends as locator numbers as if that nitrogen were some carbon or something, we would have uh, those others on it. So uh, that would be your uh, way of naming it systematically. Of course, if we have, say, something chiral, we would want to name it uh, systematically. So for example, we're going to say that it's part of our longest chain. 
And if we have a wedge or a dash, that means stereochemistry comes back. So we have one, two, three here. This is going to be an S chiral center. And so this will be 2S, whoops, N, N, because we have two methyl groups on the nitrogen, dimethyl, uh, one, two, three, uh, but, butan, two, amine. So uh, again, there we're going to need that locator number for where the amine is, uh, like we would have butan two all, for example, if we had an alcohol there instead. Um, and we do need to indicate the stereochemistry. So uh, we're going to have. Um, sorry, there should not be a hyphen here. Butan. Um, with the stereochemistry, you're going to have to indicate that in parentheses, like always. Uh, if we have anything else on our main chain, we would indicate that as well. For example, if we take that same molecule. No, don't paste it. Delete it. Okay, try again. Copy. Say now we have some uh, chlorines here. Put them here. There we go. And just for fun, let's do the uh, stereochemistry on this one too, because uh, we hate ourselves. Um, one, two, three, this should be also S. Yeah. So we're looking at S on both of these. So we'll say 2S, 3S. I love how I can say it, but I can't write it. <laughs> Everything about the, num the rest of it's still going to be the same. We have to consider is chlorine um, before or after methyl alphabetically? It is, of course, before, so we would say 3 chloro. We would say N, N dimethyl, because those are just substituents. If we had, well, let's look at that again. Um, and again, I'm out of space here, but we would still end this with butin 2 amine. If we had a methyl group instead, say we have exactly the same molecule, except for now we have a methyl group. Of course, do not have any chirality now on that third carbon. We would say 2S, uh, 3 N, N, although I guess we're going to, no, we're okay. Uh, trimethyl. Butan to amine. So lots of uh, things to consider, but really it's it's just incorporating everything else we've learned before. If you have uh, things on your nitrogen, you'll indicate those as substituents with a locator num number N. We're not going to worry about having multiple nitrogens uh, with substituents on them. Two amines, yes, fine. Whatever, diamine, no problem. But I'm not going to put two nitrogens that each have substituents, because then you go into all sorts of craziness uh, that's well beyond the scope of this. So um, just uh, focus on these things. If you have anything on your nitrogen, uh, you'll have it uh, located as N, whatever it may be. Uh, and nitrogens are still below uh, everything else uh, in terms of um, naming. So you will have to indicate them as a means otherwise. Um, and so if it's a substituent, we'll do our last case here. If we have following, just changing that to a hydroxy, our priority now becomes the alcohol, right? Because alcohols have higher priority. So we saw that both of these are going to be S stereocenters, 2S, 3S. Our parent name is going to be butan 2 all now. So we need to figure out how to put that uh, nitrogen in there. And in this case, because the amine is no longer our kind of center of focus, we have to indicate those methyl groups as being 
substituents within substituents, as much of a pain as that is. So that means we have to say NN dimethyl amino would be our uh, substituent. No space here, but I've run out of space myself. Butan to all, since now we have an alcohol. So notice we have to indicate uh, our locator numbers for substituents within substituents. We've done this before. Like if we had an ethyl group with a chlorine on it, we would have to say where that chlorine is on the ethyl group. Uh, in this case, we have to indicate where those methyls are uh, in the uh, substituent within the substituent. So giant pain, but it's not that bad. Uh, these just take, you know, a little bit of practice. So you'll have some uh, naming for those. All right, and that's naming amines.